Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, today we're going to make some Bolton cheese. Now, the fact is that um, um, I'm, I'm sure you must have tasted that in the supermarket uh, when you uh, were uh, meat eaters. Um, but um, the fact is that this is uh, for vegans. It actually says for vegans on, on the container. So to clarify, we're making vegan Bolton cheese. We're making vegan Bolton cheese. Okay. Now, I actually bought a few of these, and this is already two months old. It's been in my fridge for two months. And also, the uh, sell by date is the 11th of the 9th, 2019. Okay. I'll take so, you can keep this for almost a year in the fridge. Like now, ordinary it. cheese, obviously you can't, because it goes mildew, you know, forms some type of... Uh, Sorry, I almost managed to zoom in then on the date, but it doesn't matter. There we go. So, if you can't get this in your country, you, are, you, you go for another, another soft cheese um, uh, that you can get, which is, um, which is dairy free, um, and do the same thing as I'm going to do now. Um, it's, it, it's quite bland, uh, you've got to add a few things to it. So, um, I'm going to take this out. It's been in my fridge for, you know, over two months, so I'm going to plonk it in there, and uh, just take the rest of this out. that in there like that. I'm just going to wash this container because I'm putting it back in the container it came from. So just give me a moment, I'll just wash my hands as well. Right, um, I'm back, I've got this nice and clean. It's always best to uh, clean anything. If you take something out and put it back in, it's best to clean it before you actually put it back. Right, so what I'm going to do, here's my soft cheese, which is quite thick here and I've got some parsley, I've got a little bit of onion, it's just a medium sized onion, I've just taken about a third off that and I've got a garlic clove here. Um, but the thing is that when I put this back here it's going to last just as long. How long does normal cheese last for then normally? Well normal cheese um, you know it, it, it lasts for about um, four weeks, six weeks. It just shows you, you. Know, I mean it starts going, it starts going hard it dries and it depends. If it's a soft cheese, for instance, after after six weeks, you've got that mildew that starts on it. You know, that's what dairy is. You know, it, it's not it's not it's not a preservative. It doesn't it doesn't last long. Okay, so um, what we've got here is a, a little bit of parsley. I've got some onion and I've got a clove of garlic. I've got some pepper and I've got some salt, and uh, we're going to start uh, chopping this up now. So I'm just going to quickly just. Um, Chop this up now. Get my big knife and chop the whole lot up. And it's best to put a little bit of um, sugar for that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of sugar on that. It brings out the juices of um, the um, uh, parsley, the onion and the garlic. And also helps to chop it up as well. And uh, believe it or not, the sugar actually brings out the juices of what I'm chopping up now flavor. It brings out the flavors. It, it extracts it. Yeah. A little bit of salt and pepper. Um, I'm using sea salt. A little bit of salt in there. A little bit of salt on there because there's quite a lot of cheese there. And some pepper. And that goes 
in with the chopping here so that it mixes well. Because then you get an equal amount of flavouring in the cheese. Okay. You can see how the juices are coming out of this because of the sugar. Do you see the juices coming out? I can see it. It's all, it's all, all the flavours yeah. are coming out. So I noticed as soon as you added that sugar and started chopping, it started. Yeah. yeah. So that's the, see that's how you get your flavours. It's kind so of you, cooking it slightly in a way, isn't it? I don't it, know. It, it brings out the flavours. Yeah. Uh, it's very clever. So now we're ready to place this into. Um, our cheese. Done. And now we mix this up together. Thoroughly mix that up like that. I can't even see the top bits in there now. It's just flavour, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if you feel necessary, you just try the cheese to see if you've got enough flavouring in there. Mmm, perfect. So now, It's going back into the container. Put it right here. So we're putting it all back there. Now you can see the colour. It's changed. Sorry. It, 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 which you normally see in Boston cheese and in any event. You've got the colour there, the, 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 the parsley, the herb and the garlic, and um, the onion. Put that in there. I think we'll try some of this, Alan, don't you? Oh, yeah. I've got a bit of toast uh, that I've actually made already. So you can see that fits in there exactly the same as it was, only it's forced in cheese now. Okay, so make sure we get it all in there. There we go. So oh, I always like to scrape the dishes because it's always bits left over which is still there okay so so that is uh, that will go back you just flatten that down and it'll go back and it'll go back onto that straight away see it's so it's, and it looks like boss and cheese as well so and I can we, smell it I can smell it from yeah, over here so now I think we'll taste it yeah what do you think yeah okay so I'm not dressed put that over there please my hand Let's, uh, so you like a piece you, of that. You, you toast it. So you put a bit of butter. I put butter. I put I put the butter on the um, on the toast. Put a bit okay. of salt pepper. Um, no, no, it's all done. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put some of this cheese now on this toast, That's nice. which um, I've made. This is a buffet toast, which is quite when it dries, it gets quite firm. So we're going to try some of that. Now look at that. Beautiful. You can do. Cucumber with it, tomato, anything like that. So we're going to cut have a piece of this out and see what it's like. Yeah. Right. Help yourself. Let's just see what you think of that. I'll just have to be doing a serious voice. Mmm. Oh, oh very. No. Magnifico. Much better than Big, yeah. Much better than any normal, you know, dairy. Uh, Oh, that's fantastic! You can taste it. Isn't it nice? It's like fresh. You can feel the fresh. You know, it's the mm. freshness of it. Yeah. You know. So there we go. Um, well, the favourite was just burst in your mouth with the freshness of the, of the garlic and the onion and the. They are. They are. They are. It's got a tad of sugar. When you chop it up, and it, you can see the juices coming out of the onion, the garlic, and the parsley. It all comes oh. out. Mm, that's beautiful. I, I, mm. could, I could eat that all day. Mm. 
That's lovely. Oh. And it's probably low in fat as well, and it's, there's no dairy, there's no. Oh. All vegan, lovely. Oh, well, now, put the top back on. Sorry, I should have filmed myself, but I'll dress better next time. That was lovely. And there we go. Back in the fridge. Job done. See you next time. Excuse me, I'm still enjoying this awesome cheese. Um, I'm going to be making a meatloaf uh, next time. Vegan. So, vegan meatloaf, of course. So, thank you very much indeed for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you very much indeed. See you again. Bye.